For weeks now, protesters have been camped outside of City Hall calling on the mayor to end a particular agreement with ICE. And now the city is telling those protesters to pack up and leave. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh joins us live from City Hall this morning to explain. Anita, good morning. Good morning, Jan. Well, we're not seeing any mass movement just yet, but as you mentioned, these protesters have until two this afternoon to move out of this encampment or the city will tear this down, according to organizers. And though Mayor Jim Kenney says that these protesters played no role in his decision yesterday, he made a big announcement further limiting the scope of immigration enforcement in the city. In a month, ICE will no longer be allowed to access the police department's real-time arrest database, which shows preliminary arraignment information. The mayor says that ICE agents have been using this database to search for potential undocumented immigrants, even those who have not been accused or convicted of a crime. One protester here says that though this is a win, the efforts of Occupy ICE PHL are not over just yet. We believe that the way that black and brown people are targeted in this city is fundamentally racist and fundamentally tar harms them in a variety of different ways. And we don't believe that we can call ourselves a sanctuary city or whatever that means as long as stop and frisk exists and Burke's Family Detention Center is still open. And another live look here at this encampment outside of City Hall. It's been up for weeks now. They have until two, as I mentioned, to move out of here. The mayor's office says that the agency did not provide any information to relieve concerns that it may be inappropriately profiling by race. A spokeswoman for U.S. Homeland Security called the city's decision misguided and claimed that Philadelphia, quote, puts the rights of criminal aliens over the safety and security of American citizens. ICE reportedly has not responded to the city's decision to end this decades-long agreement, which will continue until August 31st. Reporting outside of City Hall, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.